have the footings for the root cellar all formed up and ready to pour. I'll do that by hand, mix it by hand. And the swallows have got holes all over the banks of the dirt here. And they keep causing it to cave in. Swallows just have this whole wall just peppered with holes. I don't know how far back in they go. At least a foot it looks like. I know that they keep causing the bank to cave in. I'll use this gravel here for the concrete mix for the footings. It's got quite a bit of rock in it. Not quite as much as what you'd get at a concrete plant for a footing mix, but it'll work. It's what they would call pit run. And I have it, so that's the benefit of it. And it's not too far away, it's just root cellar is just on the other side of the solar shed. So it's just a little trip over there with a bobcat. to mix now.
the mixture recipe that I'm going for is about four and a half or five to one Portland. And then, like I mentioned before, this is what they call pit run. It has gravel and good rock in it. And a lot of people get concerned on well, how to mix it correctly. And if you just take a look at the bag, it'll tell you just how to mix it. For a concrete mix, one part Portland, two parts dry sand, three parts pea gravel. With the pit run, you got rock in it already. Maybe not quite as much as what you find at a concrete mix plant. So usually add just a little more Portland to make up for it, or throw more rocks in it or something. But usually you have to adjust as you go. Sometimes each batch might be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. And you just adjust as you go.
I just finished pouring the footings for the root cellar. The door will be on this end right here. I had to round off the edge a little bit because that is going to be a step right there. Yeah, they went a little bit better than I thought they would. And the forms held up better than I thought they would too. I was trying to find alternatives for the high lumber price and I found some uh, fencing slats that really weren't that expensive. I was going to see how they would work for forms. Plus I had other pieces laying around that I used, some 2 by 10 and some strips of plywood. But it all went pretty good. Now I think I'll be able to reuse a lot of that material when I move over for the next portions of the build. Didn't really have any more cave-ins from these birds. I guess I probably kept them away from here today, but they sure got a mess of holes.